All right, so this morning Isaac and I have been playing a fun game. All right, well, unfortunately, I woke up with my cranky pants on this morning, so we were just kind of having a rough morning, and I was like, you know what? We just gotta get out of this little funk that we're in, so we decided to head out, and our first stop is the thrift store, and our next stop is a mystery, meaning I don't even know where we're going next. We'll see what happens today. Yeah? Hey, I remember this. Look at all of these things. Okay, we're looking for the book section. I've been wanting to purchase some of the books we've been reading aloud, so I've been periodically checking the thrift stores to see if they have them. Uh-oh, we found the toy section. Toys. Toys. Oh, that's a fun one. I really like that. Oh, you really like the yeah, Dora microphone? But I'm not gonna get it because mom doesn't let me. <laughs> Before we came in, I was like, are we getting anything? Are we gonna behave? So they just got the run through. I was so excited. I found two books that I absolutely love that I'm excited to keep in our permanent collection and they were 25 cents each. That like completely floored me. So I got from the mix up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler and the other one is My Father's Dragon. So those are two read alouds that we'll be doing at some point. I'm just excited to own them, especially for 50 cents. But the best part is when I found out it was 50 cents, I only had my credit card with me and I was like, well, that's lame. I don't wanna use a card to pay for 50 cents. And so I took all the kids out to the van and looked for some money. Cause I'm like, there's gotta be 50 cents in here somewhere. And when I found a dollar bill, I also found my set of keys. So my keys have been lost since the end of February when we drove home from Arizona. And I have missed them so much. Like they've got all my little like doofletchies on the back. And also like what's happened right now up until now is Jeremy and I have just shared keys. Like if he's taking the van, he gets the keys. And if I'm taking the van, I get the keys. It's been such a headache. So yay for keys. I'm like amazed. I thought for sure they were lost forever. We are having a picnic at home. Yay! 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 It's like surprisingly hot out today. So the indoor picnic for the win this morning. But we have apple juice. We do have apple juice. I bought juice boxes, which is a huge deal at our place. So, yeah. I also got grateful raspberries, which I'm excited to do today. Did you eat your food? So initially, I didn't give her very much because I didn't know how she would respond to the food, but she ate all the cheese right away. And then she went around to all the other kids and was like trying to eat their cheese. Like, they were like, Mom, Laura, she's taking our food. Were you a little food thief? And she's an alien. And she's a what? Alien. Why do you think Laura's an alien? Because she is crazy. <laughs> and aliens are crazy. There we go. What do you think, Caleb? Is Laura an alien? Um, I think she just is a food taker. You think she's just a food taker? What do you think, Laura? Are you an alien? Let love. Putting the whole cracker in. This is Laura's first juice box. <laughs> Capri Sun, whatever you call these things. I got the one that's 100% juice. We like never do this stuff. Keep it down, Laura. I don't want it to spill everywhere. What do you think? Do you like it? There you have it, we're drinking apple juice. I'm grateful for that we get to eat inside. I'm grateful for that we have a house. <laughs> I am grateful that our power was only out for like two and a half hours last night. You do not realize how much you use power until it's not there, and it was only two and a half hours. But I'm really grateful for electricity. Indeed. And Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. I'm also grateful for Alexander Graham Bell that we can have phones. 
It's true. So we just lost power again. I wonder what's going on. So it happened last night for like two and a half hours and now it just happened again. Hopefully it comes back on again, but it's light out. So we don't notice it as much, but um, if it stays like this too long, we will notice our AC not working. Luckily when the power goes out, books still work. So we're gonna sit down and read Mr. Sure. Popper's Penguins. Hey Cubby, are you gonna fix our house? Uh-huh. How are you gonna fix it? Um, with my tools. Oh, what's broken about our house? Um, that, um, right, right then, right there, and... Right up there? Those lights don't work. Those lights don't work? Is the power out? Yeah. Yeah, how are you going to fix it? Um, with my ladder. Cool. That's... Over there. So no worries about the power outage, everybody. Caleb's on it. Yay, the power just came back on. We were just sitting here reading and all of a sudden we heard all the like fans downstairs start again and we heard the clocks beeping back on and we heard, well we saw the lights turning back on. So yay for more power. It's kind of funny that it's being glitchy like this. I wonder what's going on. Maybe some construction? Lise, what are we up to? We're gonna give my mom, my mom a present. It was Kendra's birthday on Thursday, which is today when you're watching. So the kids are here getting a present for her. All right, so we mostly survived the dollar store. We got some good stuff for mom. I think she's gonna be really excited about this stuff. Through this whole trip, Caleb was grabbing random stuff and putting it in the cart. And then right at the end there, we were checking out and I was getting ready to like swipe the credit card and he had put like this huge sucker and other stuff up on it. And some lady in line was like, I don't think you want these things. Caleb, come on, bud. McDonald's play place and their drum machine is broken like a cymbal keeps going off and off it doesn't annoy me as much as I had to try to solve it like I wanted to figure out why it wasn't working so I figured out like which symbol it was and if you put your hand on it it stops so then I tried to like get ketchup and stick it on here and napkins I was trying to figure out if I could get it to stop because I first told McDonald's about it and their manager is just like, there's nothing we can do about it. We have no idea what to do. So I haven't solved it yet, but that's funny that I'm here and like all I can think about is trying to solve this to make the symbol stop. I don't think I'm going to figure it out, but it's fun to try. It's never been off this long. I may have just fixed it. Okay, now the real test. I'm gonna push it to see if a symbol will work without it going all the time. It fixed it! It just needed pressure applied for a long enough time to vlog about it and then it was good. Fixed. Time out. So after McDonald's, I took the kids to a grocery store just to pick up a few things. I wasn't planning on vlogging, but I carried my camera with me just in case something incredibly adorable happens which happened in this case, so I had to pull out my camera. But before I show you that and end off the vlog, today, June 11th, this Thursday, is Kendra's birthday. This is her first birthday while we've been vlogging, so send her some love. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, we'd love for you to go on and just let her know that you love her. That would be awesome. And tell her happy birthday. All right, I'll let you finish off the vlog. Time in. everyone, my name is Gemma from Ireland and I'd like to say J House out. J House out. Hey everyone, we're the Higgins House. And we've been sitting here for two days. No, we haven't. It's probably been at least 20 or 30 seconds. J House out. <laughs>